AFTV Turkish. Um, you know what? That turned out to be a good game in the end. Two yeah, sending yeah. offs, and uh, Blackpool gave us a, a good run for our money there. Yeah, 100%. A better game than I thought it would be. Um, they get good competition. At 2 1, it became a bit sloppy. We They, they could have got back into it at 2 1. I didn't actually see what Gwendozi did to get sent off. I didn't see the mm. tackle clearly enough um, to know it was a red, but I don't even think theirs was a red either. Mm. But you know, one thing I got from this game, you see, in the last five minutes, we was under attack down the right a couple of times. Instead of just hoofing it in the box, what did they do? There was two three men in the box. They could have easily played it in. They played it around each other. So Emery must have pinpointed that from the Palace game when Lacazette was messing about in the corner flag, crossed it in and we conceded. Mm. Even 2-1 down against Blackpool, you could see we approached that differently with five minutes to go in added time. So mm. There's it, a bit more control to it, wasn't there? Yeah, 100%. And that must be Emery telling them, look, that, that little error of judgment there from Lacazette cost us two points on Monday. Mm. And it, that's, his, that's his attention to detail. That's what I love about him. Mm. I think you told me one time when we were singing Unai give us a wave, someone told you that they nudged him to say, go and, go and wave at the fans. Mm. And he turned around and said, listen, the match is on. Let me concentrate on this match. And yeah, I love that. Right. Yeah. Attention to detail is, is key. And that's what we need right now. Attention mm. to every player and the, the team has generally tactics and it looks like he's bringing it from that one mistake on monday which cost us the two points we've come here and we've changed that around two one up we've mm. kept it in the corner against lesser opposition against opposition that under wenger would be full out attack nine up to the 96th minute mm. would have 10 men up in the box mm. so it's good to see that we've learned from our error on monday it's good to get the win again was it 13 now unbeaten mm. um going on to liverpool on saturday that's worried a about that game I'm not worried, you know. Why would I be worried? At the end of the day, they have there to... are a few injuries at the moment to, to some key players. Still no Monreal or Kolasinac, not even on the bench today. Rumours that Bellerin might not be playing. And that is, those are the areas where Liverpool are strong with Salah and Mane. Yeah, well, if we start, if, if Xhaka starts left back, we're finished. Because not, not to say he is, he done a bad performance against Palace, but Salah and Mane will kill him mm. as a left back. And... I feel like Monreal Kalasin will return. I think it was too early for them today, so he's just keeping them out. I feel mm. like one of them will return. And whether Bellerin returns or not, I know he's picked up his form recently, but Litsteiner, I feel safe with him there. He's experienced. He'll know what uh, Mane and Salah are all about. And he'll, he, he, not to say he will be able to cope with them, but I'm happy if he does start. But I'm also happy if Bellerin starts. So am I scared of the Liverpool game? No, because look, we played the two previous champions the first two games. We've gone on 13 matches unbeaten. This, I think it's about time we played one of the big boys again. We've, Emery's had two international breaks, 13 games. Now. Let's, see, let's see where we stand again against one of the title favourites. Hi, how are you doing, everybody? This is Ian Wright. Don't forget to check out my new YouTube channel. The link is in the description. Check it out, man. It's gonna be. Yo, yo, what are you doing, man? <laughs> I'm sorry, Rob. I had to touch the Holy Grail mic, bro. No, you, you can't do that, bro. You, what are you doing? You can't do like that. Like a rascal like Zep, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to check out Ian Wright's brand new YouTube channel. The link is in the description. It's gonna be brilliant.